All right, uh, welcome back everybody to our uh, bleed and damage over time build guide. Um, a little change of plans. Um, before I do all that stuff here, we are going to get the um, weapon art at Fort Height. So we're going to do this quest first. So we get the weapon art and then head uh, to the gate front and get the <laughs> the whetstone <coughs> item. So what you want to check is that you have some arrows equipped for this. And you also want it to be nighttime and that's pretty much it. sneaky action uh, here so head over to this cliff and then sneak around the soldiers and then you should wait until uh, the pumpkin head is engaged with the uh, demi humans Okay, should be good enough. Uh, first, we backstab this one. Which will trigger the other soldier to come over here. So hide in the bushes. And then flank him from behind. Backstab. Then we are going to sneak past this soldier and equip our longbow. So there are two um, grenade throwers. One is over there. So I hit him with some arrows. And one is on the top there. Okay, next we're gonna head over to this ledge and pick up the blood walls. There's a couple of more blood roses uh, pick them all up when you see them you're gonna need it later there's a rat here and another rat coming there and there's another rat on top so make sure that you're not surrounded here ideally you want to take out these guys like one after the other Like this. Then the path should be clear. Uh, pick up the other items here. Couple more blood roses. <coughs> then um, jump over to here, and there's a couple of guys in there. So, first, we're gonna take out this guy over here and then we're gonna take out this rat and there's another guy standing right at the left here so be prepared for that so over here we have the nomadic warrior cookbook 6 which will give us access to crafting these blood bone arrows So what you need for that is basically uh, the thin beast bones, which will drop from the sheeps along the path, but you can later also buy them if you want. And uh, we need the blood rose, and optionally you can get the flight pinion to make it uh, to make it fletched. Okay, there's one more guy standing over 
over there. Uh, we need to take him out first. And then we're going to get to the minibus. So we're gonna summon our imps and let them engage and do the work. Watch out for the stab. So once he's uh, engaged with the imps, we can safely do some backstabbing on him. And there comes the bleed proc. Nice work. Nice work, imps. So we get the bloody slash, which we're gonna be using <coughs> for the early part. On top of this tower, there's another item we're gonna get. But this is this is one half of the Dectus medallion, which we need later. Okay, get back down. And what we do now is take out this uh, ballista. And then head over to there for another smithing stone. <coughs> And that's pretty much it. Um, now we can head to the Mistworld outskirts checkpoint and uh, and get the quest. No, oh, I already f forgot to uh, drop the sacred tears in here. So I'm gonna wait for daytime and then uh, give the quest to the NPC. We will receive some dagger for it. But that's not really what we came for here. Uh, the main reason we did this was to get the bloody slash uh, weapon out. Did you more? Well done. I knew how. Go ahead. What's that, Lowell? Even the which is why just you. Uh, Would you like? I see bright. Enter. Who know what say you? Very well. I knew I. I shall. Uh, we shall hold us. I see. Right. I'd much. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's basically it. Um. Now we can start to do some work on the on the content in this area. We have everything we need right now. So I put a couple of first level ups into Vigor until I hit something like 18 or 20. Just to be on the safe side. We also uh, apply the weapon art uh, to our katana. Uh, which we can do actually because we don't have the redstone. <laughs> okay, let's get the redstone first and then apply the weapon art to our katana. That sounds like a plan. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do let's do the whole camp. Why not? Not not that difficult actually.
this item, this item. Guy standing over here. Then we can get the uh, guy with the trumpet. I need to wait here until the other guy turn around like this and you can safely take him out. Okay, <coughs> next you get this guy sitting over here. Get the smoldering butterflies. And there's also some herba. I guess over here, right? And uh, next, we're gonna take out the guys over here. So this this is the only dangerous situation in this camp because uh, if you screw up over here, you're forced to fight like multiple enemies, which is always a bad thing. Uh, so try to <coughs> pull one guy at a time. Then take him out. Then get the other one. If you're lucky you can one shot the dogs. Okay, this guy's over there. So he's coming back to here right now. That's why I go around and flank this guy. Then you can turn around again and um, we can also sneak down here first to get the redstone. And then we could basically stop because um, that's all we need right now here. But uh, we can try to take out the whole camp if you want Okay, for this guy, um, best thing to do is wait until they turn around again, get the M's out. So what I basically want to do here is get a backstab off on him. Ah, he's already alarmed, okay. No problem. There comes the bleak cork. Always block. another item over there we can get so there's not much left of the camp by now so you can basically go all nuts on this guys <laughs> whatever Okay, so we got the redstone knife. Um, let's apply our weapon out. Go 
to Ashes of War and then click on the katana and apply the uh, blood slash to it. And what this is basically doing is uh, when you now do your weapon art attack, you have this slash which is taking away some of your health but uh, deals a lot, a lot, a whole lot uh, damage to the enemy. And another thing I would do is go to the Warmaster's Shack and pick up uh, no skill uh, weapon art, which we can put on our shield. Because right now we can't do our weapon art, because we have, uh, have a weapon art on our shield, which prevents the weapon art from the weapon to there fire up. So get the um, no skill weapon art here. Well. And then apply to the shield, and then you can do your weapon art with your main weapon. <coughs> okay. Like this. Alright. Um, so, this camp is done, so let's do this um, mini boss over here. And also, um, since we equipped uh, the weapon art, we have now a bleeding buildup uh, of 90, uh, 59 uh, points instead of the, um, I don't know what it was before, like 45 or something. <coughs> so it builds up much quicker. Um, always check if you have uh, arrows equipped. Wait, well, you're there are if the mood my people. There's also another dialogue option. I think this is your people. Perhaps you see that we have a sentiment, not but that is our call. Just the way. So let's purchase a um, couple of arrows. Goodbye. Then we're gonna head to the cave. It's always good to take out some soldiers on the way, they sometimes drop smithing stones. Okay, so in this cave, uh, we can use our lantern for better vision. This. for the wolves to come one at a time because I can easily like surround you and stun off you another one over here and another one over here another one that should be it uh, pick up the silver fireflies need them later for crafting and uh, other than that uh, you can pick up the moss if you want so then we can 
into the boss room uh, make sure you have the imps equipped and uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this you can either uh, shoot him with your fire arrows because he's uh, vulnerable to fire or you can do it with the bleeding um, which I'm showing you right now um, get the bleed skill equipped and um, get the imps ready so first thing uh, get out your summons and then uh, block this guy so what you want to do is uh, get the attention of him so that the imps can do some work and once he's focusing the imps uh, get a couple of hits in and then wait and always sneak one or two hits in there to fuck the bleed effect so that is basically the only attack you need to watch out for when he takes his, uh, his sword in two hands and then uh, jumps at you Check. Uh, either going to level up or I'm going to get my weapon upgrade. So we have 11 smithing stones one. So let's upgrade our weapon further. Let's put one level up on a longbow and one level up on a katana. That's the maximum we can do for now. And then we're going to head over to... Is this enough for another level up? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's kill one enemy and then level up. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate, like uh, five or six wounds on this thing. Okay, we got the Lord Swan straight sword here, which is a pretty good uh, uh, early game straight sword. <coughs> so if you get this drop. Uh, you can also use this weapon instead of the katana if you, if you like a straight swords more it also works So I'm putting one more um, level up into my health and um, this dungeon is basically optional, you just need some of the flowers in here uh, but you don't need to necessarily do this complete uh,
these are the flowers we're after here. Uh, that's the only reason why I do this. As you can see, this is way easier than uh, going in melee with this guy. There's another one on the top there. another flower and another flower over here and then you can basically turn around and get the fuck out of here if you want <laughs> the rest is totally optional there's not much to gain from this except some rooms and some summons you basically don't need ever in this game Okay, so these guys, um, just shoot them, shoot them once to make them drop down and then uh, just take them out when they approach. One at a time. <coughs> guy hanging there. Stop hanging around, dude. That's it. So the bots in this area is a good example for uh, for something that is resistance to everything that we are focused on. So it's worst case scenario in that kind. That's the only reason why I'm doing this right now. <coughs> to show what you do when you have something that is resistant to, uh, to everything that you have. Like all the uh, damage over time effects and uh <coughs> the bleed and stuff like that. much enemies that are resistant to everything but there are some so you gotta be prepared for that as well so what are we gonna do with this guy is equip the short bow Make sure you have enough uh, of these arrows. And then you're going to get to light equipment. So drop everything you have until you hit light load. Like this. And this way you can make, you get more iframes for dodging. And you can also dodge a greater distance and uh, the way the short ball works is um, each time you dodge, you can make a quick attack at the end of the dodge. So if you dodge and then hit the 
with, with the target if you dodge and then hit the uh, light attack you will make a uh, quick arrow and this is pretty safe because uh, the attack animation is super short so the way this works is uh, focus him and do a roll and do a quick attack and that's basically what you're doing Quick attack, dodge, quick attack, dodge, quick attack. Then you need to regen some stamina. Then you dodge again. And doing the same thing over and over again. Always keep your distance. Don't get greedy. You can basically stand and just, just shoot arrows in his face. And that's it. Not even took a single hit from this guy. That's a, how easy this is. So if you have something that is resistant to really everything that you have, you can always go back to the strategy and just hit him with a bunch of arrows. So this is why I mainly be, uh, why I um, level up my my short bow to get uh, like a little bit of more damage out of it, <coughs> basically to make it a little bit easier. Don't waste so much arrows. So we're gonna go with Vigor 16. Yeah, let's let's hit up 18 Vigor and then. Uh, from there we are going to um, go to stamina either or level up some arcane. Alright, let's put uh, the ammo back on. Okay, let's do this quest over here. So this is pretty easy. Um, just need to change our weapon arts for this. Uh, so instead of going for the blood slash, uh, we put the uh, the sacred blade on our katana. And if you go over here, there's some NPCs uh, sitting around there, which will give you the quest. Um, kinda quest you don't need to do this actually but uh the village turned back i'm gonna do it anyway so he's the gonna tell you back. about this guy sitting there uh this uh, undead boatsman ferryman and uh this telling you basically to stay away from him which we are not going to do of course <laughs> Okay, these guys are basically, uh, un all undead are immune to bleeding and status effect, so we need to uh, take the sacred blade for this. Let's get out our little imps. And uh, the way this works is um, when you use your weapon art, like this, you will change your damage to holy for your weapon which will be uh, uh, actually way more damage to the undead enemies <coughs> so this guy is pretty easy um, just hit him and when you see that he's moving up into the air uh, uh, that's how easy it is <laughs> Didn't even finish my sentence here. Okay, once you've done this, um, the NPC is sitting over here, and you can give him uh, the quest back. And he will give you a map marker where you can port into a different area to. I have a spotted an ill someone, and must. 
to get uh, some items, to, to exchange your items that you just picked up for another, um, I think it's, um, it's Faith build items, uh, a talisman and stuff. You can get from this NPC. Uh, we can do it right now because there's also a golden seed over there, which I like to get. So if you uh, open up your map, uh, you see this uh, sending gate now marked on it, and uh, we can port to the church. And then uh, go to this sending gate, and uh, this will take us to another area in the game, which we normally would get later at the point in the game. Let's click. <coughs> okay, so this is where we are currently. It's like the top uh, right corner on the map. So normally we would have to go to all this area to get there. But with the sending gate, it's pretty easy to get here. This area is also used uh, for wound farming uh, purposes, which I currently will not be doing. But if you're interested in that, uh, just... <laughs> Just uh, search on YouTube or something, there's tons of um, tutorials how to cheat the game in this way. I'm not uh, going to use any exploits for this one. <coughs> okay, there's going to be a golden seed sitting uh, down there. We're gonna pick up, and uh, once we rest at this location, uh, we can get. Oops, didn't pick that up actually. Um, that will give us access to the wand table hold, which I will cover then in the next uh, video. So let's uh, hit this grace and. Uh, this will spawn uh, Melina, Forgive me, and she will be taking us to the round table hold. Whereas I may there is, but I can take gathering. Very well, let my hand. Okay, um, there's a couple of things we can do here, um, which I will be, will be covering in the next uh, episode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.